Hey you guys, this is Roman Deer Park Farmstead. Excited because we are gonna start our chicken breeding. And so we've got some eggs started and we have our new incubator, the Sportsman. I, I showed it on another one, but I'm gonna show it again. The Sportsman 1502 and we've got the hatcher with it, both of them. These hold a lot of eggs. So we are super stoked to get started on this. I've got some really cool eggs I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'll shoot, uh, I've shot some B-roll for that. So you'll be able to see how beautiful these eggs are. And, um, and then I'll show you the sportsman, how we're getting it started. We've already started it up. Uh, we're, we gave it 24 hours just to kind of make sure the temperature, the humidity all stay consistent. That's what we need is consistency. So I'll show you the sportsman and also these beautiful eggs. And we can't wait to get started here. All right, we're in the hatching room. We don't have much room in here and that's gonna change at the end of this year with our new house. So we're excited to have that, but that's another story. Here is the incubator right here. And uh, we also purchased an extra tank for water to be held inside the incubator. There is a tray inside there and it uh, holds water. Also, we put the sponges in there, but we're gonna take them out. Um, so there's the tray that holds the water. There's like a float in there, like a toilet. <laughs> and it goes up and it turns the water off that goes inside the tray. Uh, here are the different levels of the egg holders. I've got an extra tray here that I'll show you. This is the tray that goes inside there. Each level fits up to 48 eggs or sorry double that so you got 48 eggs in here so this one can get slides on the tray thing inside there and then you have another one that goes in front of that so you could tell this fits a ton of eggs and we probably won't fill it up but who knows we'll see how that goes we're going to be helping other friends out with their hatching and uh you know we may be you know might put a few on this one uh, level you know and then go from there it's more for being able to put them in like every week and being able to put a tray in and continue the hatching instead of before we had to fill the incubator and we couldn't and then hatch we're done anymore until they hatched or said anymore so that's you what's can exciting continue about through the this period the whole time and just keep adding more trays as you go um, you know put a date that you set um wherever um, on your phone or you know we post we post signs on our walls too so we kind of have one set up for the first incubator and then um, like we did before so this one here is the hatcher and so the way this one works is on it needs to be clean but on the 18th day we put them in here and we let them hatch out by the 21st day so that's all this is for we uh, are going to get another reservoir for um, this tank as well or this uh, setup as well so we can set up this one 24 hours again and uh, we'll go ahead and hatch these eggs out and once we're done we have uh, um, about 60 something eggs right now and we're going to collect throughout the day so we're not sure how many we're going to end up with probably close to 70 eggs that we're going to put in here on our first level and go from there now i just pulled this out of this incubator i had it next to the tray this is another device we have that checks the temperature and the humidity. 
it's Bluetooth, so we can check on our phone, and here's my wife's phone, so we could check what the settings are from anywhere around. Um, like, let's say my wife wants to check at work, she can check at work and uh, see what everything is. She wants to maybe tell me to change any settings or what have you, so very cool. And uh, I'll show you and then the name of it. So then you you can get the app for your phone. Cheap on Amazon. But you can see, you can track the consistency of it through the night. So since obviously we are very far up north in north um, eastern Washington, we are still in single digit temps at night. And so we want to make sure the incubator is not it's fluctuating. Consist consistent. That's the key. So I'm just putting this right next to this tray in here. So we have knowledge of what these temperatures and humidity is. Uh, this also tracks what the machine says, but and they are different numbers. So we want to just make sure like I said, we have consistency and the numbers on this show throughout the day. So we know how um, how the night did and if there was any problems at all. So three latches on each. Um, you can see this thing fills up with a lot of water. We have uh, in upwards of, I think, five gallons inside of this. I've already... I've put it about three quarters yesterday, so it's gone down about an inch, maybe. So these things, I'm sure they eat up a lot of water. It's a big machine. All right, these are the eggs we're gonna be putting in the incubator. Thus far, we have a little collection here. Uh, we still have today's that we are gonna put in here as well, so Still not sure what we're going to be getting. I'll let Marcy explain, but we used these sponges to clean them off. It's still pretty muddy out there and dirty, so these eggs just, it's still really early in the season to, uh, you know, kind of sell a lot of these eggs. But I'll let Marcy explain a little bit more about these eggs. So we are hatching Olive, Well Summer, and Moran. And this weird girl that is laying eggs like an Easter egger, but I'm pretty sure she was crossed with the cream leg bar, but it's a really pretty blue egg. And she's with um, a couple different fun roosters. So we'll see what comes out of that. Um, so as you guys know, the chocolate eggs, that's what we've been doing for the last two years is we're just trying to hatch all the darkest browns that we can and We'll keep those. We have two Maron roosters right now, and I have about a dozen hens, um, which we get about a 50-50 with the dark, um, but we just wanna keep breeding those because those are so fun. And then uh, we introduced the well summer this year. Um, we had one before, which some of these over here, I believe are product of that. Um, but right now we have our well summer and half of our olive acres with a cream leg bar rooster, an Easter acre rooster, and the well summer rooster. So we're hoping to get some different colors, some different shades. Um, of olive. Of olive. So these ones here have been crossed back with a Moran's rooster three times. So half of these are going on to crossing back four and half of them are on their second and their third. Um, so we have some, this is what I want to get. That's consistent of a well summer cross back. So we have a, quite a few of those and then we have a quite a few of heavy bloomers where you can't tell when it's far away, but once it's washed, it has a really deep coating and you can get that spot either from the well summer or you can get it from 
just the crossing back over and over of the Moran, because basically the Moran is just a chocolate bloom. But this, oop, this right here, this is money. This is uh, also so what we're going been for. working with for a while. How many seasons do you think? Three years. So this one right here is cr getting cross backed in with the well summer and our blue roosters because I want to get either the consistent or even a little bit more of the olive color, not so much the brown, so more the green than the brown. And then we're going to switch her over. We have two for sure, possibly three that lay this, put them with the Moran rooster after that. So we're just playing with it, crossing it back and forth. That's how you get all these. There's no right or wrong. Uh, we just have a lot of fun with it and it's exciting to see you what to cross we get. around and, and see what you get with crossing. That's what's so cool about putting different roosters with different hens. You get some really crazy colors. And we can also do another video, Roman and I, when it's not so cold and, and snowy and actually show you the egg color and what the chickens look like because we have so much variety. Sometimes they take on a look of a Moran. Sometimes they take a look of the Easter Egger. Um, you just get some random different looking chickens, which is fun too. And we did, we haven't even collected the, our leg bars haven't even laid yet this season. So we're waiting on those birds are being extremely finicky, finicky right now. So we're waiting for them and they're a hundred percent for the most part, they should be olive, olive because they're with a Moran's rooster. So there you have it with our first hatching of 2022. Streaming excited for this hatching. This is going to be cool using the sportsman and seeing what breeds we come up with this season. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun too. Stay tuned for more. Talk to you all soon. Be well.